What up my dudes and welcome back to another Movie Monday. So today I'm talking about a movie that I'm super stoked I got for myself on DVD. Sometimes you gotta treat yourself. So that's exactly what I did and I got Night of the Creeps. I freaking love this movie. I don't even know why I haven't spoken about it yet. I won't lie. Um, but this is also a movie you can't really find streaming on anything. At least not in Canada. I haven't really seen it online anywhere. Um, anyways, Night of the Creeps. This is... A must-see, especially if you're just into, like, 80s horror, kind of B-movie classics. Um, this movie starts off, and you basically have, like, this intro. It's, like, the 50s, and, like, aliens kind of hit the earth, and, like, something happens to this one kid, and they basically freeze him, okay? They cryogenically freeze him. Fast forward, it's the 80s. These kids are, you know, hanging out at a party. What I love about it, I'm pretty sure the kid is the freaking kid... Um, Rusty? <laughs> He's one of the Rusties, I think, from National Lampoon. He looks too familiar. He's gotta be. Confirm that in the comments for me, guys. <laughs> Anyways, Russ. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Russ. Um, so, it's him and his buddy, and they have this amazing dynamic, right? They got, like, a serious bromance going. And it's that classic, like... Oh, uh, like, dude sees the hot chick at the party, and he's like, oh, man, like, I want to make a move, but I'm too shy. And his friend's, like, super, like, ridiculous, so kind of just, like, pawns it off on him. But it turns out she's the super hot chick who's obviously dating some alpha, beta, the don't know what a, you know what I'm talking about, frosh kind of people. Anyways, so, <laughs> this movie goes on where they're like, hmm, how is she going to get to like me? Well, maybe we could try and get into this stupid frosh and then she'll be like, oh my God. So they go up to the frosh dudes and they're like, what can we do to get, you know, a part of this? And they basically put them up to this, I guess, initiation. And it's basically breaking into the science lab. And when they get in there, they sneak in. There's this dude literally like frozen. And they're like, what is this? Like, this is some like, anyways, they press some buttons, shit goes down, he gets out. So now we got this frozen dude on the loose, right? Who, like, who knows what kind of alien probes were in him. And, of course, the dead is walking. People are getting messed up. You're talking about some wicked deaths in this movie. Um, people's heads exploding. And it's just such a fun watch. Honestly, like, Night of the Creeps to me is a very vanilla movie, too. Like, if, say if you're trying to get, like, your kids or friends that aren't too into horror into horror this is definitely like one of those more like fun vanilla kind of movies and like it has so like so much good humor in it um i love it at one point like the two best friends have like a little fight and like they're all like Ugh, i hate you <laughs> it's just like but you can tell they love each other and like just some of the comments like even like when they're trying to get into like the whole frosh thing they're like you're not gonna make us like fuck animals are you <laughs> Just, like, of all of the things. And, like, it keeps going back. Like, oh, damn. I'm glad we didn't have to pork any animals, right? Like, so silly. Anyways, guys, I highly suggest this film. If it's not part of your collection already, do what I did. Get it. Um, it's honestly one of my top faves. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for joining this week. Uh, and I will see you Wednesday for a little hump day horror. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. And, guys, if you're not, get on it. Be a part of the fam. And, of course, you see this little zombie guy? That's him all pulled. Yeah. So he's going to be getting painted up next. So stay tuned for some fun paintwork that's going to be going on. All right. See you guys.